What is going on guys? My name is Forge here on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I wanted to make a quick video just going over the fact that Modern Warfare 3's most recent drive through map has more ambience, more aura, I guess you could say, than Liberty Falls in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Now, right off the bat, let's give a disclaimer. Obviously, we haven't played Black Ops 6 ourselves. Only a select few people have actually had the ability or the privilege to play Black Ops 6 Zombies so far. And that is not me, of course, and probably not you either. <laughs> but the point is, I think even with the gameplay we've seen, we can make somewhat of a judgment that this is not going to be the same as what we want to see from Zombies. Now, right off the bat, I do want to say it is not the nighttime that is the factor. I mean, sure, that does play a role, I guess you could say. Darkness is obviously a lot creepier and scarier when it comes to Call of Duty Zombies, but it doesn't even have to be scarier in that sense to, to be fun and to feel like a Call of Duty Zombies map. That is the biggest thing I want to talk about. It is all the little details in between that are completely missing from things like Liberty Falls. From what we've seen so far, again, disclaimer, because we don't exactly know. Maybe there's more stuff. Sure, they disabled Easter eggs and stuff, but I don't know. Something about it just does not seem as fun, as detailed as something like this. Like for this drive through map, right? The reason I'm talking about this is the brand new map for season six. You spawn in, even just the first spawn in, you see like the lighting of this, the red lights. This looks so eerie, but at the same time, fantastic. It's just something about it just looks, it's just creepy. I don't know, you know, just this red light coming off the, the back of the van. And then you walk into the restaurant and you just hear the creepy sounds of the carousel. Yeah, I mean, it's not normally creepy, I guess, but in this context, an abandoned restaurant, an abandoned area in the dead of night, yeah, it's kind of creepy. I, I like it. It's pretty fun. And honestly, you might not feel this way if you just play the map normally in public match or whatever, but go into a private match and I'll tell you, it feels completely different. It feels to me like almost a, a CSGO hide and seek map, like a haunted hide and seek map. If you've ever played any of those, I mean, I, that sounds very niche, I guess, or I would assume it's pretty niche to play that particular custom game on CSGO. But either way, if you've ever played that, there's a feeling to that that is just incredibly fun. And to me, it's nostalgic. Maybe that's a big factor in it. But still, that kind of feeling is present with this map. The lighting itself is fantastic in this map. This The lighting is just... The, the, just the strobing of like the fluorescent light or whatever you want to call it is absolutely... It just adds to that creepy Halloween atmosphere. And it's just so fun and nice to see maps like this. I really do like seeing maps like this. But again, it fits more with zombies than it would for multiplayer. And it's not just, again, it's not just the nighttime that would make this feel like that. It's all the extra details in between. Like I said, the sounds, for an example. If you go outside, then you hear movement and stuff in these motel rooms. What kind of freak is in there? I mean, like, I don't know. And then you walk around over here and you see a TV. There's a phone ringing for one constantly. So who knows what this man is doing, whoever this person is, right? He's got an axe up there, axe behind you. He's got a camera on someone's motel room. He's just staring, or he was before we got here. So it just, it gives you that feeling of mystery, that feeling of wonder, like what was happening before we got here. And I just didn't feel that in Cold War Zombies. And I don't feel that when I see Liberty Falls gameplay. I get too much of that Cold War vibe. I don't get that high quality feeling that I got with older Call of Duty Zombies maps. Like, for an example, Kino Jertoten, all right? Regardless of your opinions on that map. I mean, for me, I don't think it's like the best map whatsoever, even though, even though it was my first map, basically. You know, that's when I started playing Call of Duty Zombies. I wouldn't say that that's my favorite map by far. Uh, it's incredibly basic to today's standards. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm more of a mob of the dead kind of person, Shadows of Evil. But point is is regardless of your opinions on that map if you think it's the best map or the worst map you can't lie there is an atmosphere a vibe and aura that this map has that is creepy i mean even just down to if you hold a zombie and you just like walk around for a second you can hear like the sounds of the wind blowing through the air and it's just you feel alone especially if you're playing solo and it's just creepy but that's a good thing when it comes to call of duty zombies that's what you want from this but again it's not during nighttime you don't need it to be nighttime i don't know it's just this abandoned theater it's a unique theme and honestly i feel like this 
is also pretty unique. You could put zombies on the drive through map, and it would be a fun round-based zombies map if they did it right. I mean, they'd have to redesign a couple things, of course, you know, put some barriers. But, but either way, point is, this could be a part of a round-based zombies experience right here. All right, after editing and after further exploration of the map, there seems to be a lot more backstory to this map. And not just a bunch of creepy stuff being put up around the map in order to make a Halloween-themed map. There's a little bit more to it. Pretty much, if we go over here, there's a bunch of posters about missing people. We look over here, they have their luggage. Hmm, where's their luggage? All of their phones are here. Someone was looking at them. Why are all their phones in one collection? When we go over to the motel, you can hear a chainsaw. Or, you know, maybe someone's just mowing their lawn. I don't know, you know, who knows? It might be 2 a.m. or something, but, you know, who doesn't want to mow their lawn at that time? But then we go into the restaurant, and, um, yeah, there's a foot in there. Yeah. So basically, Funny the Clown has been up to some funny business, all right? That's all I'm saying. This man has been taking people and feeding them to the people at the restaurant. That is an insane backstory for a multiplayer Call of Duty map. And yet Liberty Falls just looks like a war zone map. And I think it might even be better than Liberty Falls just from what I've seen so far. Again, I don't want to judge Liberty Falls too quickly because I'm sure I'll have fun with it. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Black Ops 6. The reason I'm so critical on it is because I had fun with Black Ops Cold War, but I haven't touched it since. Once you grind through everything, once you get all your augments or whatever they were called in Black Ops Cold War, all, all the different extra perks, your upgrades and everything, and then you get the, the camo grind done, it's like, what are you to do anymore? Whereas Black Ops 3, I still have the ability to go back and I still have a lot of fun. Like, just going for high rounds is fun. Black Ops 2, I still have a lot of fun. There's no fun like that when it comes to Cold War anymore. And I'm afraid that that is what is going to be the exact same case for Black Ops 6. Now, I know we are going to be seeing a brand new map in December for Season 1 of Black Ops 6. So, that, that right off the bat, that's fantastic. I like that we're actually seeing new maps. Because we didn't see a new map until, I believe... February with Firebase Z in it, and then it was Firebase Z, which is kind of crap, let's be real. So it was kind of disappointing, and then we didn't see another one until the summertime, I think. It was like June or July by the time we got Mowder Toten. And then it wasn't until October that we got Forsaken. It was just too spread thin. We don't want it like that. So, so far, it seems like they are focusing on making more maps and higher quality maps, maybe other than Liberty Falls. I feel like, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look very high quality. Again, it's not the nighttime part. It's the fact that the, it so far just lacks ambience. It lacks detail in the map from what I've seen. Whereas even just this multiplayer map, you go around and you can feel that Sledgehammer Games, the people designing this map, had a ton of passion. It feels like to me, Sledgehammer Games is the only studio that still has passion for making Call of Duty games. That's why I talk so highly about MW3, because I can feel that there's a passion there. That maybe it does exist with Treyarch. I'm sure it does, honestly. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it exists. And we don't even want to talk about Infinity Ward. I don't know what the f*** they're doing over there. But either way... When it comes down to it, it feels like Sledgehammer has the most passion out of all the studios nowadays, and you can feel it even in their map design. I hope that same kind of feeling transfers over to Black Ops 6, because it's crazy that we were going from Sledgehammer Games is like just the, the studio that assists the other studios, to now that, in my opinion, they're probably, if they get a modern game or, or a futuristic game that's not... World War II, they can make a really good game nowadays. Like, I, they do some good stuff. I don't care what anyone says. Model for 323 is a fantastic game. Like, it's ruined with the modern day Call of Duty stuff, bringing it down, like, being highly monetized and skill-based matchmaking, that kind of crap. But if you look past that, it's a really good game. It really is. But point is, the whole reason, just to summarize this, is I want to see something like this for a future Black Ops 6 Zombies map. Honestly, like I said, I'd be fine with them just taking this map and putting zombies on it. I would love to see that, actually, but they're not going to do that, obviously. Uh, it's too bad they don't have anything like that where you can just play zombies on multiplayer maps. That would have been incredibly fun, and then this would be one of those maps that you could play it on. I think it would fit pretty well. Um, and no, not like Onslaught. I mean... If they actually made it so that you just they just have a wonder fizz on every map, you just get the perks from there, have a pack punch on every map, and you just run around 
shooting zombies. I think that would be the best option. It sounds like it might be boring after a while, but I think it'd be fun for a while and it would give you some variety. Uh, I don't know. I just think that would be a lot of fun and they just didn't do that. With Onslaught and Cold War, that just was not the case. That was not what I was talking about whatsoever where you have to kill elites or stay in a bubble or I don't know what that was. I did not like that. that I was fine with that being a PlayStation exclusive for a year. But anyways, like I said, to summarize what I want to see with this entire video is I want to see more maps like this. I want to see more maps with this nice lighting, with spooky sounds when I'm walking past things. I just detail. Attention to detail is so important with a, in any map, let alone a Call of Duty Zombies map, okay? So for future DLC maps, I'm sure they can still do some changes. You know, Liberty Falls, if it's going to be a mid-map with no atmosphere, it's already done. It's not going to change, let's be real. So for future DLC maps, though, I think they could do some stuff still. They still have some time to do things like that, right? So let's hope that in future zombie maps, we have something closer to this, a multiplayer map, surprisingly, than this, a zombies map that doesn't feel like a zombies map from what I've seen. But anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.